Welcome. Welcome storytellers, teachers, and mentors. My name is Alan Carroll. I've, I've founded the Esri Story Maps team. This year, Esri and the National Geographic Society challenged high school students, college students, and young professionals from around the world to build stories about the greatest threats to our ocean. From stories about threatened species to rising sea levels, you ex you've accepted our challenge and exceeded our expectations. Many thanks to all of you, to all the challenge participants for submitting wonderful stories and for tackling important issues on behalf of our planet. You are truly the next generation of conservation leaders. And now for the moment you've always been, all been waiting for, the winning stories of this exciting competition. Over to you, Christy. Thanks so much. Um, my name is Christy Collins and I'm part of Esri's Influence Marketing team. So happy to be here with you all this morning. I'm honored to share the three track one winners. Um, and these stories were created by wonderfully talented high school students. So I'm gonna start um, with the third place announcement and work up to our first place. Winner. So here we go. Um, in our third place, um, congratulations to Chloe Hackbart and Karina Murray from Omaha Henry Dorley Zoo Academy School in Nebraska. The judges selected your story in Altered Arctic as our third place winner in track one. Um, this story um, shows through maps and imagery how Alaska's Inuit communities are being affected by climate change. Both students are seniors and heading off to college next year. Congratulations. Um, Chloe plans to attend the University of Alaska Fairbanks, where she'll major in wildlife biology and conservation and minor in GIS. And Karina will study conservation biology at the University of Washington in Seattle. Next, um, we have the treasures of the deep in our second place. Story by Hannah Osborne, a high school student from Tennessee. Um, this really clever story features the gummy squirrel as the protagonist and shares with us the impacts of deep sea mining on its home. Um, in her story, she makes a plea that as we pursue greener energy sources with deep sea mining, we need to make the effort to ensure that we're not destroying the organisms and ecosystems that I call the deep sea mining beds home. For Hannah, ArcGIS story maps are the perfect intersection of her fascination with science and math and her love of art and design. And now finally, um, for our first place winner in track one, um, that goes to the Tsialutsu Sea Turtles and Us by Aiden Lo, a senior studying biology at Taipei Fusing Private School in Taiwan. The story begins when Aiden observes an entangled sea turtle during a diving expedition, and we follow Aiden in discovering how humans and sea turtles can better coexist. His story includes um, many quotes, video interviews, and even Aiden's own personal podcast that really positions the reader as participates, participants in the con conservation journey, excuse me, rather than just simple observers. Um, Alex Tate, uh, one of our challenge judges and the geographer for the National Geographic Society um, said about Aiden's story that the entire story was a call to action, a personal journey from beginning to end. Aiden hopes that geomapping and storytelling can spearhead a new media of conservationism, one that is easily accessible and kindles compassion amongst the public. Um, congratulations to Aiden and to all of our wonderful first um, track one winners. Um, it was a really a wonderful to read everyone's stories. Um, congrats again. And now let me hand things over to Michelle Thomas from our Story Maps team for our track two. Thanks so much, Christy. The winners in track two for college students and young professionals all showed us the power of science, innovation, and partnership in solving big conservation challenges. I'm excited to recognize the great work of these three storytellers. In third place, Seagrass, a struggling ecosystem in a unique perspective by Tyler Copeland takes third place in track two. The story highlights the power of drone technology, citizen science, and GIS applications in restoring and conserving uh, seagrass sea beds. 
Tyler's a current graduate student at the University of Central Florida um, and a student lead in the Citizen GIS organization. Passionate about media creation and environmental and in social science, Tyler seeks to bring these two fields together to promote environmental understanding through visual mediums of photography and GIS. Congratulations, Tyler. Our second place winner in track two goes to Healing the Scars of the Land by Jesse Bridge, a young professional at GP1 Consulting in Australia. The story follows the path of land-based pollutants from local rivers to the barrier reef, and it features local partners who support conservation efforts, including beautiful traditional owner artwork that represents the collective partnership. Jesse told us this, I spent most of my life growing up in Townsville, Queensland, which is right next to the Great Barrier Reef. We're taught from a very young age about the Great Barrier Reef and the impacts our oceans have on the health and well being of the reef over the years. I'm extremely humbled that I'm able to bring the amazing work of the Great Barrier Reef Foundation has been doing to a new digital platform to reach wider audiences and specifically younger uh, generations as the reef is now in our hands. Very inspiring, Jesse. And finally, the judges selected The Tale of Lost Fishing Gear by Leah Fulton as the first place winner in track two. The story surfaces uh, an often hidden source of marine debris, debris, ghost gear. Defined as abandoned, lost, and discarded fishing gear, ghost gear is recognized globally as one of the most important marine debris issues to support sustainable and healthy oceans. For Leah's graduate project at Dalhousie uh, University in Canada, she worked with Coastal Action and Ocean Tracking Network, evaluating the effectiveness of using side scan sonar as a gear detection method for large scale ghost geared retrieval missions. According to Leah, science communication is an important way to highlight these efforts, and storytelling has the ability to create, create meaningful connections. As someone who enjoys combining the two through innovative approaches, ArtGS Story Maps is a tool that gives the best of both worlds. She says this challenge was an opportunity to translate local initiatives to a global audience and encourage this generation and future generations of ocean conservation leaders to get involved where possible. Thanks for sharing your work, Leah. Over to you, Amelia. Amazing, thank you so much, Michelle. Uh, my name is Amelia Semperbon, and I am also on the Esri Story Maps team. So for this year's competition, we kind of changed things up. We did things a little differently. And our guest judges, as per usual, selected the first, second, and third place winners in each track. And we also had all of you select your favorite story for the first ever Story Maps People's Choice Award. And the competition for this award was super exciting. We had GIS professionals and local schools and communities across the globe come out to vote. In just a short amount of time, you all cast over 2,700 votes for your favorite stories. But in the end, there were four stories that ended up with over 400 votes each. Yamuna, Froth for Tears, Spy Majestic Coral Reefs, Using Microbiology to Clean Up Oceanic Oil Spills, and oceans swallowing cities. But which of these had the most votes when the voting period closed on Wednesday at five Pacific time? It was Yamuna, Froth for Tears, with 652 votes, followed closely by Spy Majestic Coral Reefs with 630 votes. It's amazing. Congratulations to Yamuna, Froth for Tears, from the Bluebell School International in India. You are the 2021 People's Choice. And again, congratulations to all of our winners, all of our finalists. Your 18 stories will remain in Esri's map gallery where they can receive upvotes and comments for years to come. And now it's my pleasure to introduce Shelby for our closing remarks. Hi everyone, my name is Shelby O'Neill. I'm a National Geographic Young Explorer and founder of Junior Ocean Guardians and the No Straw November Challenge. Um, and I was one of your guest judges for this challenge this year. Um, beyond honored to have the privilege to see all of your amazing stories. I wanna say thank you to everyone who participated. Uh, truly mind blowing. I was looking at the stories and I was like, I have no idea if I could even personally make these. 
truly one of a kind. Um, you all put so much effort into it and you should be proud of everything that you've accomplished. Um, and it was, like I said before, very inspiring to see professionals come from all over the world to critically look at problems for our ocean. Um, and of course, major congrats to our two winners um, from track one and from track two. I look forward to speaking to both of you more um, and getting to talk about your projects and the ocean and how we can protect and save our amazing planet. Um, and as you can see, you can see our winners at esri.com story maps story contest. Um, and I look forward to meeting you guys again. So thank you all um, and we'll see you next year.